Perhaps you've heard of these colorful rainbow fentanyl pills, or maybe you saw that Bloomington police arrested a man last week with enough fentanyl to kill a million people. We know this drug has driven up overdose numbers across Minnesota. What is fentanyl? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. Here at Hazleton, after marijuana and alcohol use, opioids are number three. That's correct, yes. Opioids are the number three reason that kids are coming in for treatment. And of those opioids, how much of that is fentanyl? Over half is related to fentanyl. Dr. Sarah Polly oversees Hazleton services for young people. Most people use it in pill form, and so what they do with the pill is oftentimes snort the pill, like crush it and snort it. I want people to know that um, it can come in all, all forms. You can melt the powder into a liquid, into an oil. You can inject it, you could smoke it. You can take the powder and put it on a piece of paper and then put the paper in your mouth. They didn't know how drug traffickers mix fentanyl in cocaine, in heroin, and in methamphetamine. Let's rewind a little bit. What is fentanyl? So fentanyl is an opioid, and what opioids are, are a type of really medication that was invented to help with pain control. There's legal fentanyl. It's close, you know, monitoring, and then it's prescribed in very small doses. And illegal. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid. What does that mean? So that means that it's prepared in a laboratory. Most drugs are, because it's cheaper. What does fentanyl do to you? So at treatment doses, fentanyl relieves pain. When it's used at a higher level, it creates a feeling of happiness, of calm, and of peacefulness. And then that's what makes the substance addictive. Um, it increases something called dopamine in your brain, which is the feel-good chemical, and causes you to really crave it and want to keep using it. It's 100 times more potent than morphine and 50 times more potent than heroin. Really, fentanyl is particularly dangerous because of how strong it is. You get high, you die. It's as simple as that. Does everybody overdose on it? Yeah, that's a good question. Some people have built up a tolerance, but without that, a few granules. Are you talking the size of granules of salt? Yes, yeah. That small? Yes, really small. Can cause an overdose. But people aren't usually taking pure fentanyl. That's exactly right. There are often additives or it's combined with something else. And the problem is you just don't know what's in that pill. Yeah, that's the problem. He was a United States Marine. He was a musician. He was a wonderful son. He had a disease. I also want people to know that addiction is a disease that impacts someone's brain. They're not doing that because they're a bad person or they want to do something wrong. They're doing that because their brain got attached to the substance because the substance was designed to have that happen. And they're really behaving out of a place of a disease, not who they really are. And there is help out there for them. There is help out there. Heather Brown. I want people to know that there's hope. WCCO 4 News. When someone overdoses, it means that the drug has relaxed their body to the extreme. The breathing slows, the heart rate slows, and then the brain starts to fail. When that happens, naloxone, which is also known as Narcan, can push fentanyl out of the brain before it's too late. If you have a good question for Heather, just email her through wcco.com links.